See, when they, when they built the Titanic, I don't know if you know this, but when they built the Titanic and they're going to sail from Liverpool to New York and they're making this journey, the, one of the ones who made the Titanic said, you know, was, was, was asked in an interview just before they left Liverpool. He was, he was asked, you know, do you think this, this whole ship can actually sink in the, in the ocean? And you know what he said, this Jabbar, this tyrant said, he said that even if God wanted to sink it, he, he couldn't sink it. This is, this is in their the record, this is in their media, this is in, you dig it up, you find it. He said if, even if God wanted to sink it, he wouldn't be able to sink it. So they went. They went on this cruise liner, the ship, and they sailed across and they got somewhere near to the, you know, on the Pacific side and, you know, it was night time. They're all having a wonderful time on the ship. These are the wealthiest people who can afford this. Can you imagine, They're the wealthiest people who can afford this. And the luxuries on this Titanic, there is nothing like this in the world. So what happened is this night time, it's, you know, ahead is a bit of mist, right? Ahead is mist. And they all know that in this freezing weather, there can be icebergs that are, you know, very, they're like mountains in the, on the, from the seabed that rise up. They know this. But Allah's got their hearts in His hand. So He makes the sailor of this ship. Say, nah, don't worry. Ah, you guys have a nice time. Don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry. Titanic. What's an iceberg going to do to Titanic? An iceberg. We'll break. I mean, he's thinking what? He's thinking, if I put, if I go ahead, I'll go slowly. But if I just go ahead, and if I hit an iceberg, this thing's so big, it's going to break the tip of the iceberg. That's what went in his head. Allah made him believe that. So they went ahead in the night time and it, it came across and it hit. And you know, before he went ahead, some of his other sailors said to him, you know, it's not safe. I read about this. I read the whole article about this. They said to him, it's not safe. And he said, said don't worry. What can happen? Don't worry. Right? So he went ahead and it was a very sharp iceberg that they hit, they sliced into it. And then after a little while, you know, it's like, they're still playing their music and they're enjoying themselves and some are asleep and whatever, the chefs are cooking. <laughs> and the next minute they know, the sailor says, we're going down. They built this Titanic so strong that they believed that it couldn't snap. One of the theories was this type, it can't snap. You, and they believed that it couldn't be, you know, you couldn't take it down the ocean. So water started to come inside here. Okay? What's happening now is that it's getting heavy here, heavier and heavier. And this part of the boat, the other side of the boat, is now lifting. And it got so high that in the middle it snapped. When Allah gets a, when Allah gets a tyrant on the earth, He's going to make sure that people are around to talk about the story. And they live with a face of fear and humbleness to tell the story of what Allah did to them. They told stories to their children and their children told their st that story to their children. And Allah showed them who Al-Jabbar is, who the real mighty one is. Where is that guy who made that statement now that even if God wanted to sink the ship, he, he couldn't even sink it. Where, where is that guy now? And this is Allah saying to all the rest of mankind, don't challenge me.